So since the gameplay reveal of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, there has been quite a lot of other things going on with Call of Duty. Of course, we've had all of the Black Ops 3 updates that came yesterday, and while I've not had the chance to break down the gameplay that we've seen of Infinite Warfare at E3, and I wanted to make a video on that and also tell you five features that we could possibly expect to make it over into Call of Duty Infinite Warfare multiplayer. So without further ado, let's get into it. And the first feature I wanted to cover is the fact that a boost meter is shown within the Infinite Warfare gameplay. This once again just confirms that Call of Duty Infinite Warfare will be having very similar movement to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It's been confirmed by Activision and Infinity Ward that yes, the movements will be pretty much identical. And well, this boost meter just confirms that that is going to be the case. And this is something we can definitely expect to go into multiplayer. The next one is going to be that... We did see two individual weapons used within the gameplay and it's been confirmed by Infinity Ward yesterday that yes, there is going to be normal ballistic weapons and also laser weapons, but they're going to act in a very similar way to each other. For example, the reload's going to be the same, the time to kill and stuff like that. We also seen, as a side note, an anti-gravity grenade, which I just would love to see go into multiplayer. I think that would be a very cool grenade. Probably would be a tactical, but nonetheless, I just would love to see that in in multiplayer. The next one is that the lean feature was spotted within the campaign as well. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this. I really do hope that it is just going to be a campaign feature only. Leaning was introduced in Call of Duty Ghosts. A lot of people did not enjoy it within multiplayer. And while I hope that Infinity Ward have learned from these mistakes and they do not add it into the multiplayer side of the game. Now, the next feature is something that I've not really seen a lot of people pick up on. And it's the fact that it would appear that these soldiers have some kind of magnetic boots that allows them to stick on the sides of ships or on the top of ships. We see them in the gameplay just running around and shooting people on top of the ship. And this does pause as quite something particularly interesting because it could possibly mean that some multiplayer maps could be based in space but also based on the top of spaceships maybe even on top and also inside at the same time something like that i think that would make for a very interesting map it'll be interesting to see how that would play out but that is just something to note on the side so finally the next one is going to be that this year it would seem that lethals tacticals and also abilities are conjoined in the same kind of category because we see within the gameplay that towards the bottom of the screen we do see him using an L1 and R1 icon and it would appear that the L1 icon does indicate some kind of different abilities or different special weapons. For example, at the beginning of the mission when he's in space, we see him using that as a grapple hook and then once he gets inside the spaceship, he does switch it out for some kind of shield. Now, as well as this, it does indicate that possibly abilities or some kind of special weapons could be coming to Infinite Warfare multiplayer. It's going to be interesting to see how they do that the only thing that I can relate to in terms of this is possibly Advanced Warfare's Exor abilities. It's likely that they will change the name and stuff like that. There's going to be different sorts of things that they could do with this, but that is just something you do want to bear in mind is that all of this does point to the fact that some kind of special abilities or special weapons will be coming to the multiplayer side of the game. But that is going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. This has been the top five features that you've probably missed during the Infinite Warfare game gameplay reveal. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like. I'm the Long Sensation. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.